In this tutorial, I will show you how to select the data plot as well as the data range for fitting. This movie is recorded while running Origin 8 SR6. When you have a graph with more than one data plot, the first data plot, Signal 1, in this case, is the active one. It will automatically be picked up as input when I open the fitter by selecting Analysis, Fitting, Nonlinear Curve Fit. As the hint text in red says, I must choose a function before I can continue. When I select data selection, you'll notice that signal 1 is assigned as input. By clicking the arrow next to input data, you can add a second plot as input if you wish. You'd then have range 1 and range 2. You could also reset the selected ranges. If I want to fit signal 2, I click on the arrow next to range 1. The current selected curve, signal 1, is grayed out. I select plot 2, signal 2. The fit curve in the graph is now drawn for the signal 2 curve. I'll click the fit button which will fit until converged. The dialog is closed and the report is created. Okay, let's say that I want to modify update this fit so that I'm fitting only the large peak and ignoring this side peak. To change parameters of the fit analysis, which includes the input range, I left click on the green lock and select change parameters. In the fitter, I go to data selection and click on the right arrow next to range 1. I choose select range from graph. The fit dialog is minimized and vertical lines are drawn at the begin and end of the current range. I'll leave the line at the first point but move the line from the last point, dragging the vertical line on the right side to leave out the small peak. I'll position it at x equals 30 as can be seen in the data display window. I click to maximize the fitter. I can then click the fit till converged button which will leave the dialog open. You'll see the new fit curve is now only over the selected range and notice that it fits the baseline better. The original fit curve is still visible for comparison, but when I click OK, the old fit curve is gone, replaced with a new partial range fit result. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.